Hello, in this dissertation I will be presenting the work titled Exploring Rock Art Application Techniques An Experimental Approach to Study Rock Painting from La Candelaria, Catamarca, Argentina. We are an interdisciplinary group based in Argentina, in the National University of San Martín, National University of Catamarca, National University of Córdoba, and CONICET. La Candelaria Cave is located in El Alto and Casti Mountain, in the northwest of our country. This area is one of the most important reservoirs of pre Hispanic rock art in Argentina, with almost 40 archaeological sites and more than 100 shelters with this kind of heritage. Since the second half of the 20th century, this rock art has been researched due to its importance and its remarkable quality. Most of these first studies attributed it to La Aguada archaeological culture which developed during the second half of the first millennium after Christ. For more than a decade, our research efforts have focused on studying the social practices of paint and use of the rock shoulders of the archaeological sites of Oshola and La Candelaria. Surrounded by the forest, the site of La Candelaria is a large cave of about 17 meters wide and 30 meters deep, where 176 rock paintings were recorded. Most of the paintings are white colors and represent people and animals. Beyond the efforts to inquire into the chemical components and absolute chronology of paintings, other technological aspects were less studied, such as the application techniques used to make the figures. Since the last three years, we have approached this site with the goal of shedding light on the constitutive interactions between beings, materials, times and spaces established during the processes of making rock paintings. The aim of this presentation is to advance in the understanding of the technology associated with this rock art. More specifically, we follow the objective of identifying the different application techniques of the rock paintings of La Candelaria Cave. Starting from the hypothesis that each application technique leaves a specific material traces, we have developed an experimental approach to four application techniques in order to detect and document the specific material traces left by each one. To test our hypothesis, we designed an experimental plan focused on rock art painting techniques. Experimental archaeology will allow us to better comprehend the material traces microscopically observed. So, mockups were made to analyze the emerging traces and compare them with those present in the archaeological record. We considered four application techniques, namely with a fingertip, with a camelic hair brush, with a wooden stick, and with a camelic hair swab. Those techniques were combined with pink mixtures made with gypsum by hydrated calcium sulfate combined with free binders. Hence, whole egg, a protein based binder, cow fat, lipidic, and keptox mucilage, polysaccharide. The pigment was selected following archaeometric analysis. Binders, on the other hand, were chosen to represent the main chemical families of natural substances that were possibly employed in painting production. Archaeometric analysis of organic components from the rock paintings of La Candelaria are expected to be carried out soon. First, rock with similar characteristics of those supporting paintings were collected during the fieldworks. Then, application tools were manufactured using llama wool and wooden sticks. Thus, a few brushes and swaps were fabricated. Wooden sticks haven't been shaped or treated anyhow. Paint mixtures were prepared in the following way. The cactus mucilage was made by cutting a puntea leaves and soaking them in water for 12 hours. Then, the lips were cooked at 80 Celsius degrees for an hour and filtered to get the binder. Regarding the egg binder, it was beaten until the white and yolk were mixed. Finally, the fat was heated until it became fluid and allowed it to be mixed with the pigment. In all cases, the liquid binders were mixed with a fixed amount of gypsum, so as to get the paintings. For each paint, two degrees of viscosity, high and low, were considered. The paint mixtures were then applied on the rock surface, employing the same technical gesture all the times. As you can see on the slide, 
strokes were made from top to bottom in a lot of L shape. The rock was placed vertically during this process. The combination of four kinds of tools and free paint mixtures with two degrees of viscosity resulted in 24 strokes. Three series of each one were made for reducing our certainty, thus 72 samples were painted. Now, we will present the key results of this research. The application of painting using hairbrushes was characterized by a small and linear groove, as you may see on the lower images. This trace was observed in 89% of the samples. Also, the average minimum width of the strokes was of 2 mm. Regarding the application via wooden sticks, a particular trace, a central line, appeared in 89% of the strokes. Also, in 44% of the sample, side ridges emerged. These marks can be seen on the photograph of the top of the slide. Similar to the previous application technique, the average minimum width of the strokes was 3 mm. The application by finger featured rounded lateral ridges on 100% of the strokes. However, in 89% also appear fingerprints in two different ways, like dots and drag. The minimum width of the strokes was 10 mm. You may see some of these traces in the upper image. Lastly, application employing hair swaps resulted in marks similar to those made with hair brushes, but in greater amounts and in multiple directions. In addition, in 78% of the strokes, side reaches were observed. The minimum width of the samples was 7 mm. Some examples may be seen at the lower image. To sum up, this experiment allows us to distinguish application, application traces by the four tested techniques. According to our results, these marks are independent of viscosity or binders. With those results in mind, we head to the cave of La Candelaria and carried out a macroscopical survey of a sample of 63 rock paintings. To do so, we observe the paintings with raking light and magnifying lenses in order to detect traces that could have been produced where the paint had been applied. The results indicate that in 25 motifs we could not detect application traces. 70 motifs had brush strokes. In 10 paintings were documented side ridges and in 9 appeared drag fingerprints. Those traces were similar to those obtained in the lab experimentation. Nevertheless, another kind of trace on the paintings were recorded in 8 motifs. It consisted of a groove with side ridges, like the observed ones in fingerprint application, but narrower. Also, average minimum widths for each motif were measured, and results ranked from 1 to 12 mm. The comparison between experimental and field results allow us to propose at least four technical groups regarding the application techniques of rock paintings. The first group is characterized by the application with a hair bearing tool, identified by the brush strokes marks. The second group is related with the application using undefined tools that was inferred because of lack of traces and a minimum width less or equal to 4 mm. The third kind is an application with a fingertip, which shows lateral reaches and or fingerprints. The fourth kind is an application with a tool without hair, which bears a groove with side reaches and a minimum widthness less than 7 mm, that is the minimum average for fingertip application. Finally, the remaining paintings, which could not be classified in the both categories, were recorded as Undetermined. After this brief explanation, we would like to return to our initial hypothesis, which stated that application techniques of La Candelaria rock paintings could be recognized microscopically. As we have seen, this research was an initial approach to this problem, and its results supported our hypothesis. In this case, experimental archaeology was key to improve our stories of rock paintings and to increase our knowledge about painting techniques of the past. But, before designing new experimental protocols, it is necessary to advance in the archaeometric characterization of organic components used in paint mixtures. Also, 
Future experimentation should look at for painless production with greater depth by considering, by considering more diversity of materials and focusing on other processes. We would like to thank the EIC Organizing Committee for letting us share this presentation. Funding for our research was provided by CONICET and Agencia Nacional de Producción Científica, Argentina. And a special thanks to the audience. We hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to know more about the rock art from La Candelaria, please visit our website. Thank you.